What is critical race theory? Critical race theory is a theory that is used to explain and understand systemic racism. Racism that is reflected in societal disparities relating to wealth, income, criminal justice, employment, housing, healthcare, education, and political power. According to critical race theory, racism is baked into all the systems of American society. Racism is a normal, integral, permanent, and indestructible component of American society. The law and legal institutions in the United States are inherently racist. These racist institutions create and maintain social, economic, and political inequalities between whites and non-whites, especially African Americans. According to CRT, any neutral system is a guise for racial power. Critical race theory says that race is not a natural, biological feature of physically distinct subgroups of human beings, but a socially constructed, culturally invented, category that is used to oppress and exploit people of color. CRT rejects the popular understandings about racism, such as arguments that confine racism to a few bad apples. The idea is that racism is not a matter of individual bigotry but is systemic in America. Critical race theory argues that historical patterns of racism are ingrained in law and other modern institutions and that the legacies of slavery, segregation, and Jim Crow still create an uneven playing field for black people and other people of color. Derek Bell, Kimberl Crenshaw, and Richard Delgado popularized the notion of critical race theory within the subfield of critical legal studies in the 1980s. CRT scholars view race and white supremacy as an intersectional social construct, which serves to uphold the interests of white people at the expense of marginalized communities. The architects of the theory argue that the United States was founded on the theft of land and labor and that the federal law has preserved the unequal treatment of people on the basis of race. Kimberl Crenshaw, says CRT is simply about telling a more complete story of who we are. According to critical race theory change occurs only when it aligns with the interests of those in power. Professor Bell believes that blacks ignore history's lesson, that the permanent subordination of blacks to whites is a necessary component of a stable America, black efforts are largely irrelevant. Whites allow only minimal black progress for the exclusive purpose of satisfying white interests, despite the civil rights legislation in the U.S., the social and economic conditions of African Americans have not improved. Bell even claimed that the reason why civil rights legislation passed in the first place was largely that it served the interests of America's white elite. CRT recognizes that racism is, codified in law, embedded in structures, and woven into public policy. Critical race theory recognizes that it is the systemic nature of racism that bears primary responsibility for reproducing racial inequality. Racial inequality often gets misrecognized as a natural process rather than a byproduct of a system of racial domination. Richard Delgado, a co founder of the theory, defined it in 2017 as a collection of activists and scholars interested in studying and transforming the relationship among race, racism, and power. Roy L. Brooks defined critical race theory in 1994 as a collection of critical stances against the existing legal order from a race-based point of view. CRT embraces the importance of personal narratives. People of color experience oppression and this lived experience presumes competence to speak about race and racism from a unique perspective that those from dominant groups cannot fully understand. CRT rejects deficit-informed research that excludes the epistemologies of people of color. CRT says that the lived experiences of people of color however expressed storytelling, family history, biographies, scenarios, parables, chronicles, narratives are crucial to understanding racism and oppression, that they are necessary for the quest for liberation. From the academic to legal, to activist arenas lived experience must be taken seriously. Critical race theorists reject the philosophy of colorblindness. Colorblindness dismisses the lived experiences of people of color but also suggests that racism does not exist so long as one ignores it. Advocating equity over equality is part of CRT. Equality means equal treatment of all Americans under the law. CRT's equity demands the authorities determine who gets what, according to the race, ethnicity, or another status of the beneficiaries.
because systemic racism has produced disparities between the races and because the system will only deepen these disparities by rewarding the wrong criteria, the government must treat individual Americans unequally according to skin color to forcibly produce equal outcomes. Some classical liberals have argued that critical race theory rejects concepts like meritocracy, individualism, and unbridled free speech, which it deems products of the white dominant culture. Many Americans are not able to separate their individual identity as an American from the social institutions that govern the U.S. These people perceive themselves as the system. Consequently, they interpret calling social institutions racist as calling them racist personally. According to Ben Shapiro, in any state where black people are underperforming white people means the system was set up for the benefit of white people and that white people have a duty to tear down these systems in order to alleviate the racism that's implicit in those systems. When it comes to schools kids who are white have experienced privilege because the system was built for white people and we have to change the standards to create equity or equal outcomes. Supporters of CRT bans claim that CRT is discriminating against white people in order to achieve equity. They mainly aim those accusations at theorists who advocate for policies that explicitly take race into account. Critics charge that the theory leads to negative dynamics, such as a focus on group identity over universal, shared traits, divides people into oppressed and oppressor groups, and urges intolerance. On the Constitution Day speech at the National Archives, former President Donald Trump characterized education that takes a critical lens as radical and ideological poison. He criticized the 1619 Project and announced an executive order establishing the short-lived 1776 Commission, to promote patriotic education. President Trump signed the executive order banning government contractors from conducting racial sensitivity and diversity training in the workplace. According to Mike Pence, CRT teaches children to be ashamed of their skin color by portraying the whites as racist. The shame replaces patriotism as it teaches people to hate our country. The proponent of critical race theory says that policies attempting to suffocate this much-needed national conversation are an obstacle to the pursuit of an equitable democracy. White people living now have a moral responsibility to do something about how racism still impacts all lives today. Supporters of CRT bans often quote Martin Luther King Jr.'s proclamation that individuals should be viewed by the content of their character instead of the color of their skin. Opponents say CRT is a divisive concept. They claim that the concepts of critical race theory say that white people are inherently racist. Supporters like Kimberl Crenshaw a founding critical race theorist says the concept is being misrepresented and used as a political tool. Critical race theory acknowledges that the stark racial disparities that have persisted in the United States despite decades of civil rights reforms, and they raise structural questions about how racist hierarchies are enforced, even among people with good intentions. Some scholars of critical race theory see the framework as a way to help the United States live up to its own ideals or as a model for thinking about the big, dawning problems that affect everyone on this planet. Crenshaw put it, CRT is more a verb than a noun. It is a way of seeing, attending to, accounting for, tracing, and analyzing the ways that race is produced, the ways that racial inequality is facilitated, and the ways that our history has created these inequalities that now can be almost effortlessly reproduced unless we attend to the existence of these inequalities. The debate on critical race theory has exploded in the public arena this spring, especially in K-12, where numerous state legislatures are debating bills seeking to ban its use in the classroom. In truth, the divides are not nearly as neat as they may seem. The events of the last decade have increased public awareness about things like housing segregation, the impacts of criminal justice policy in the 1990s, and the legacy of enslavement on black Americans. But there is much less consensus on what the government's role should be in right these past wrongs. Add children and schooling into the mix and the debate becomes especially volatile.